guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be showing you how to identify mistletoe in small trees that you can just cut down with these clippers right here, and just how to get rid of it, identify it, and everything like that. So you see, that tree up there has got mistletoe in it. See so some small trees around it could have some mistletoe in it. Let's go find out. two trees, one is healthy and one is not. We're going to show the differences between a healthy tree and not healthy tree. This here is a, uh, it's not healthy at all. You can see it's got mistletoe everywhere in it at the moment. And so, as you can see, you can, this is what mistletoe looks like. It's everywhere on this little. This guy we cannot sample. save because it's here in the trunk, in the trunk, in the trunk, and it's a s spread from this one trunk at the bottom, all the way around, it's everywhere on this it's, tree. It's basically went from the bottom of the roots and spread it out because of the mistletoe. So we and got since it started growing from the bottom with mistletoe in it, it's gonna grow the whole entire tree with mistletoe in it. So technically we have to we have to snip it down before it grows too big. And right here we've got some more mistletoe. I guess that was already snipped and a bunch more back here also. So, time to snip it down. It's got to go. So first what you want to do when snipping these mistletoe trees down is try to get all the pine needles out of the way. Like the top piece Got some of it off. And when you and when you snip it down, if it has mistletoe in it, you want to put it on the ground before it before it spreads. See? That's all the mistletoe that was in that tree right there. A whole bunch of it. What you want to do when cutting these trees down also is get it at the very bottom. See, so this that way one, it can't grow back out. Over here, back to this tree. This is a perfectly healthy tree. It's out in the open. Hasn't gotten mistletoe from that big tree that we showed in the beginning of the video yet. It might later on in its life though. But it's fine for now, so we're gonna keep it. Okay, this is pine tree mistletoe. And it's a very severe case of it because there's so much of it. And all these little blue things are called spore sacs. And when those spore sacs pop, they, the wind can either take them away to a different tree or to a different area, and or it can land on a tree and infect it. And when it does infect it, it turns into this thing that starts growing. And if you want to get a closer look, those are the spore sacs. So this tree right here may, like right here in this area, may just look like when it was a very first baby sapling, it some wind blew it or an animal stepped in it and broke it, but that's not the case at all. Mistletoe got into the trunk of this tree and made it so it curves. Mistletoe likes to make it so tree, branches, even just the trunk itself curves a lot. So, this tree has lots of mistletoe in it, and the trunk everywhere. You can even see just all along it, it's got mistletoe everywhere in this tree. So it needs to come down, but we can't cut this tree down with all the little clippers. We might be able to cut this little branch down, but we don't want to do that, so we'll be able to see it later. So, we're going to leave this tree for the chainsaw to cut down. So we were looking in this grove of pines to find a good example of mistletoe in a trunk of a tree. We found this one. I can clip some, I will clip some tree branches back so you could see it. Okay, so we trimmed the branches back so you could see the mistletoe and how it makes the trunk all wonky. And you could you can see that the mistletoe makes the makes all the all the pieces where it is all bulbous, and 
that makes it so we can't save this tree. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Smash that like button if you like what you see here. And leave a comment if you want to see something new.